my son can use his hands and his fingers. The next minute, he can't zip his pants. He can't hold a pencil. You know, he's falling. His legs are wobbly, so he can't walk. Cases of a rare polio-like virus are spreading across the United States, including here in East Tennessee. It's called acute flaccid myelitis. The rare condition impacts mostly children. The Centers for Disease Control says so far there are reported cases in 26 states. AMF is caused by a viral infection and symptoms can range from muscle weakness to paralysis. Two cases of the virus have been reported in Tennessee. Tonight, WBIR 10 News anchor Brandon Bates talked to a Chattanooga woman whose son was diagnosed with a virus and was almost paralyzed. Brandon? Well, John and Robin, this is six year old Spencer. He lives in Chattanooga, but he's in an Atlanta hospital tonight trying to regain function to his arms and his legs. We talked to his mom, who says it all started with what appeared to be a common cold. One month ago, the only thing six year old Spencer Hill of Chattanooga had to worry about was what seemed like a common cold until he started complaining that his hands and his feet felt funny. Just when Spencer's mom, Serena, thought the cold had passed, he started complaining about his legs were hurting a little bit. Scared and confused, Spencer's mom took him to the hospital to find out that he had a rare case of acute flaccid myelitis, a condition that has been confirmed in 62 people in 22 states in 2018 alone, according to the CDC. One minute my son can use his hands and his fingers, the next minute he can't zip his pants, he can't hold a pencil. You know, he's falling, his legs are wobbly, so he can't walk. The illness known as AFM is compared to polio, can cause paralysis, and has no specific vaccine. It basically affects the, um, the nervous system and particularly the, the spinal cord. And while there is no cure, there are signs to look for to catch the illness early on. A droopy eyelid or starts having trouble speaking or has trouble swallowing, uh, has uh, uh, a limb, an uh, arm, or a leg that becomes... Uh, 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 flaccid. And that's where it all started for Spencer Hill. Now he's sitting in this hospital bed at the Children's Hospital in Atlanta. His hand was like this. Spencer has received steroid fusions to try to stop the spread of paralysis. He is able to walk again, but he's still working on his fine motor skills. And according to the CDC, long-term effects of AFM are still unknown. Some patients make quick recoveries while others continue to suffer from paralysis. Robin, we'll send it to you.